Okay, so this is going to be my weekly makeup basket. This is where I go through my makeup. I pick out a few things that I want to wear for the whole week. And then I just show you guys. And this really helps me cycle through all of my makeup and, you know, let everything get a chance in my makeup. And to also focus on certain items that I'm trying to finish up, especially for my Project Pan. So for my primer this week, I have just maybe three or four uses left of this Prime Time Foundation Primer from Bare Minerals. It's literally on its last leg. And then for foundation, I have the Revlon Photo Ready in 002 Vanilla. I also, I'm going to be mixing this in with my foundation. This is this little temp to Oh, highlighter. It's in Pink Pearl. I got this out of an Ipsy bag, but it is so thin of a consistency that it doesn't show up on my fair skin. So I found that if I mix them together, it kind of gives kind of more of a luminous glow, sort of. <laughs> as long as I don't put too much in, it's okay. For concealers, I have two of those. I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This is in the shade Light. And then I also have the Con CoverGirl and Olay Concealer Balm in the shade Fair Light. So this guy, I'm going to have to dig out of the tube a little bit this week. I'm probably not going to be using this after this week. So this is going to be the last week that I'll be using this one. But I do have some left in my Maybelline dark circle eraser so I can use that. For my powder I have the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NW18. It's just a really, it's it's more of a powder foundation than a setting powder but if I use a lighter hand I can get away with it. <laughs> I just have two of these in my collection so this is in my project pan but I also want to just have one so I'm really trying to get through that guy. For my bronzer I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is just a sample size and I did hit pan this past week so that was exciting. You can still see my rings in there too. Um, I use this as both a contour and as a bronzer so I don't find that the shimmer causes too much, you know, you can't really see the shimmer too much when it's in your contour so I find that this is a pretty lovely bronzer for my skin tone. Um, for blush this week, I felt like going pink for some reason. I know it's fall, but I just felt like pink. So I pulled out my Benefit Hervana blush. And this, also a tip, if you leave this little plastic case um, that holds your brush inside the blush, it won't, if you close it really fast, sometimes the edges will flip in and they'll gouge into your blush. But if you keep that in there, it'll keep that from happening. Anyway, this is just a lovely kind of plummy I have it on the cheeks today but it's kind of like a pinkish plummy kind of a look so I really like this one and I have to say all of the benefit blushes smell absolutely divine so there's that guy from my highlighter I wanted something a little bit different so I pulled out my MAC mineralized skin finish in light scapade and this is the new packaging which I'm not so fond of but I mean it's okay so that's it right there it's more of it's kind of like a white iridescent pearly kind of highlight it's not so much beigey or you know that's it right there it's pretty it's pretty white so that's it so for my eyebrow products I just have these two this week this is my Maybelline Master Shape in the shade Deep Brown, and I also have the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel that I'm trying to finish up. I'm not quite sure how much I have in here. My eye bases for the week, I have two of them. So I have this Maybelline Color Tattoo right here. This is what I use today. This is in the shade Pomegranate Punk. I'm not entirely sure if this was discontinued, but I think this is about the most perfect eye base for the fall. I think it's just absolutely lovely. It's more of like a cranberry, plummy kind of shade. That's it right there. It's really pretty. So I have that one. And then I also have my, you know, one that I have in almost all of my weekly makeup baskets lately. This is the MAC Fluid Line, which is typically a gel eyeliner. But this one is in the shade Catch My Eye. And it's a little bit, it's not a dark shade. So when you have a light shade of the Fluid Lines from MAC, they work as an eye base. 
And I really like to run this underneath my bottom lash lines just in the outer corner or I can also run this all over the lid. This is more like a taupey gray shade with some beautiful gold shimmer running through it. This is really pretty. I love this stuff. So I have those two and then I just have one MAC eyeshadow this week as usual. This is my MAC rice paper eyeshadow. It's just like a creamy beigey kind of yellow shade. So I'll just put this all over the lid or just in the inner corner every single day just to use it up. I'm making some decent progress on this but I'm using this one every single day this week. And then for my actual eyeshadows, instead of pulling out a palette this week, I decided to just pull out my Burberry eyeshadows. I have six of them and I got them for my birthday and I haven't played around with them more than, you know, three or four times since my birthday and I spent a lot of money on them and I would like to play with them this week. So super fast, let me tell you the shades that I have. So this one is Mulberry. So this is a dark purplish kind of shade. This one's really gorgeous for the outer corner. I also have Pell Barley, which is more of a lid shade. It has some shimmer in it. That's it right there. This one's Antique Rose. I really love this one. This is like a very light kind of purpley, rosy kind of tone. Kind of mauve-ish. And then this is Almond, which is lovely for just an all over the eye kind of look. This one doesn't have very much shimmer in it. And then I also have Rosewood, which is probably my absolute favorite eyeshadow. It's that guy right there. I, I love this one for all over the lid. This is perfect for just a one eyeshadow look. And then the last one is Midnight Brown, which is like a darker brown with some shimmer so this would be perfect for the crease area. And then onto my eyeliners I have these two right here. These are just for my waterline. So if I want nude I have the Rimmel Scandalized Nude Coal Liner and then if I want black this is the Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil in black point. That's what I have in my waterline today. This doesn't come out of my waterline so either one of them they both stay in the waterline really well. And then, so I'm going to be trying to just use my MAC Fluid Line in Waveline this week, which is kind of like a bluish purple indigo sort of shade. This is a gel liner. So I'm definitely going to try and only wear this gel liner for my liner because it's in my Finish 6 by Christmas and I really need to get cracking on it. But if I happen to be in a super huge rush, I have this Physician's Formula Eye Booster in the shade Ultra Black, which is just a brush tip um, liquid eyeliner. I love this thing. It's my new favorite thing in the world. <laughs> and then for mascara, I have this little sample of the La Mercier Full Blown Volume Lash Building Mascara. So this little guy, this is my favorite higher end mascara. I do have some drugstore favorites, but... As of high-end, this is probably my favorite. The bottom lashes, I also threw in the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. This is just in black. And this just has a super teeny little baby wand that's like the size of my pinky nail. Like, it's super teeny. <laughs> but it definitely gets up into your bottom lashes and gets every last one of those little baby hairs on the bottom. For lipsticks, it's a little crazy. For lip products, I mean. So this first one... I really need to start using some more of my um, lip treatments in my lip balms. So I have this EOS or EOS balm. I've been using it a little bit. I kind of have a little dip in it, but I think this one's in pomegranate. So I'm definitely going to be focusing on this for the week. And then I have two nude kind of shades. This is the MAC Luster Lipstick in Naturally Eccentric. I just have a little bit left of this guy. so really want to get this one done the earlier the better. I also have a MAC Sheen Supreme in the shade Pret a Pretty and this is more of like a peachy nude kind of a shade so I do like this one for a gloss to go over these two nude shades. I have this Buxom full bodied lip gloss in the shade Yes You. That's what I have on my lips right now. I have this trio right here on my lips. And then for 
the other, if I'm not feeling a nude lip, I also have a different combination. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Lipstick in the shade Dress It Up. I just have a little bit of this guy left too. This is kind of like MAC Snob. It's a really bright blue base pink. I love this lipstick. It's phenomenal. And then I also have this lip gloss. This is the Buxom Full Body Lip Gloss in the shade Pucker Up. I really don't have that much left in this guy. And then for perfumes, this one's going to be mostly in my purse. This is the Wild Berry Tulips. This is just like a body splash from Bath & Body Works. I think I got this from one of their semi-annual sales or something. So I had a mark on here. I've had this for a couple months, but I really want to finish this up by the end of the year, hopefully. So I'm going to be focusing on this one. And then, of course, this is in my Project Pan, so I also had to include this one. This is my Flower Balm from Victor & Rolf. That is my weekly makeup basket. Um, I should have a Project Pan update tomorrow, which would be Monday. And then on Tuesday, I think I have my Finish 6 by Christmas update coming up. So... That's a little sneak peek for the rest of the week. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.